Red text with a white floral pattern on a black background reads, Civil War 1862, the second year, a photograph of a bearded man. One day, I went to see my grandpa. He's a Civil War veteran. In a living room. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mama. Hey, your Mama. Hey there, Charmy boy. The grandson and his grandparents hug. White text reads, Spring 1920. Guess what I learned in school today, Grandpa. What would that be? Well, first I learned about the burning of the Arso in, eight, in Harper's Ferry in 1861. Ah, oh, I remember that day well. Let me tell you the story. Union soldiers in Harper's Ferry, White Tech Street, April 18, 1861. Finish loading these mattresses with black powder, wood chips, or anything that will burn. We need to finish soon. Yes, sir! They load the mattresses. A man approaches. Excuse me, sir. I'm at the help. I know where there are more supplies for this task. I can show you, but without the other townspeople knowing. Over a historical sketch of the arsenal burning, white text reads, at 10 p.m. on April 18, 1861, the arsenal was ablaze. The grandmother in a living room with other women. After the arsenal blew up and your grandfather left, I caught a meeting with my friends. Text reads, summer 1861. I wonder what's going to happen since the arsenal blew up. That terrified me. My husband Richard decided to go with his Confederates. What are we going to do with the army's machine taken by the South by the Confederates? What are we going to do about work? I know, but I'm scared for my husband and my brother James. Now they're fighting on different sides for different causes. Next to train tracks, the grandmother cries and hugs a Confederate soldier. He waves and walks away. A Union soldier writes a letter under a tent. White text reads, April 27, 1862, near Yorktown, Virginia. Dear Gertrude, our boys are on one side of the Warwick River, and the rebels are on the opposite side. Three days ago, I saw some of them. Although we have not seen battle yet, we have kept busy with digging earthworks. One of the men working next to me fell ill with consumption. I heard he may not make it through the night. A bugle sa just sounded, and I hear the drums. I think we are soon to leave. Take care, my dear. I will see you after we take Richmond. Back in the living room, White Tech Street, Spring 1920. Then what happened, Granddad? The whole Union campaign of 1862 was not successful. A series of historical images. We took Yorktown, but later that spring, Lee attacked us and pushed us away from Richmond. But late summer, the war had moved north, and we fought a second battle at Bull Run. Then did you and the Union win at Manassas? No, Lebanon, but we would meet them in mid-September in Antinum. You mean Sharpsburg and Arthur, you're leaving out the whole Harper's Ferry story. There's a story at Harper's Ferry? Yes, we, there are a lot of Union men here, guarding the railroad at Harper's Ferry. Lee sent Jackson here to spread our town. The Union wasn't strong enough and the Confederacy took over. Confederate soldiers hoist down an American flag. White text reads, September 15, 1862. Red text on a bloody background reads, Antietam, September 17th, 1862. White text reads, September 17th, 1862. Confederate soldiers fire on advancing Union soldiers. A Confederate soldier falls. A Union soldier falls and clutches his arm. Back in the living room, White Text reads, Spring 1920. So because you got shot, you had to have your arm cut off, Grandpa? I had to have my whole right arm amputated. But why did you go through all that, Grandfather? Why the sacrifice? After all, you lost your right arm. Well, we stopped the Rebels' first invasion. We sent those rumors back to Virginia. But didn't the war go on longer? Yes, for over two years. And did you know what Lincoln did? No. What did he do? He issued the Emancipation Proclamation. It changed the whole war. The war was not about ending slavery, so it changed our whole country. Wow, he was really important. They exchange hugs. Next, images from the video. I will never forget the story I heard that day. My family and so many others helped to shape our country. Red and white text on a black background reads. Directors Justin Conley, Talon Hill. Screenwriters Lauren Fridley, Talon Hill, Janelle Stobbs. Videographers Hannah Persing, Stephen White. Film editors TJ Bolin, Sabrina Hartman. Sound slash music editors Devin Kerr, John Seleski. Costumers Morgan Bowles, Mason Hunt, Sam Kasanovich, Tessa Wolf. Actors Madeline Hatfield, Herbert Hernandez, Talon Hill, Katie Kerner, Sam Kasanovich, Dylan May, 
Lakin Popkins, Sierra Vines, Billy White. Credits continue for a few more seconds. A photograph of the cast at Antietam Battlefield. 